I'm Gary Rhodes and here I am with Dubai Lad, filming, tasting, enjoying. I think, you know, there's an awful lot happened over those years, you know, from 2007, 11 years, or almost 12 years ago. Um, things have certainly changed. There weren't so many restaurants there, and there wasn't such a large variety of restaurants that there are today. So it's a good thing that um, this, this country really has opened the doors a lot wider to a wider audience, and I think as well to a younger audience, you know, because the, the audience here has become younger and younger as time has moved on. So it was the right thing to do to make sure there's a huge variety. And that's what I find is so exciting. You know, there's always fresh competition and competition is never a bad thing. I think there's so many nice restaurants, it's hard to say what's in competition because I think each restaurant holds its own style, its own personality, and with that a different balance of foods, different balance of flavors to actually please your audience. Um, there's some great restaurants out there. I mean, Zuma, um, Petit Maison, you've got, you've got Endless, Buddha Bar, you know, all these kind of places where you can get good, tasty food. Um, and uh, so I think, yeah, it keeps, all of us can look and learn from this. And I think as chefs, you can certainly, you can never stop learning. You know, I've learned now for over 40 years as a chef and will continue to do so. So it's great when you get lots of new operations coming along and maybe they hold something that you wish you'd thought of first. So again, that's a, that's a, a fresh lesson. I think what you have to look at is, you know, we all know there's different regions that surround sort of the center of uh, Dubai. And within those regions, you've got to sort of look at what you feel that audience would prefer. So, um, at the MOE in uh, Rhodes, um, Theatre by Rhodes, we have a different audience altogether. Very much more of an international market. But still, not forgetting that we still like to have that little Asian touch in our food, something a bit more European, and also theatre and gold are two different kind of styles. So, um, yeah, that's what makes it exciting from our point of view. You know, we can start to look, learn and discover different flavours that's going to suit a different audience. And what's happening at the moment with gold, I mean, already we've been, you know, introducing some people to this new menu, to the new style, and it's, uh, it's receiving at the moment great applause, so let's hope that continues. Keep watching is all <laughs> I'm going to say, because I may well be doing a, a, a TV series uh, later in the year. It won't be released till next year in the UK. But that'll be all about the Middle East. It'll be about, you know, Dubai and UAE and, and many other places. So that we hope, and obviously there'll be a book to go with that, but that, as I say, won't be happening until next year. Between now and then, I think, you know, when I've already, we, we are now introducing this new gold menu. Very shortly, I'm going to be training my whole team for a new theatre menu. And likewise, in Rhodes W1 Restaurant and also um, Rhodes 2010, I'm introducing brand new menus there. So it keeps me very, very busy.